Hello, I'm down in Brighton. I'm down here on the south coast for two reasons. First of all, it's my birthday tomorrow. I turn 22 plus 10. And so I'm gonna go and see my folks. They live down this way and spend a couple of days away from London. The other reason I'm here is because I'm playing a charity football match at Brighton's Amex Stadium. The charity is called the Robert Eaton Memorial Fund, set up 15 years ago when Brighton fan Robert was sadly killed in the 9-11 attacks in New York. Some of his friends set up the charity uh, to help kids in New York, uh, Africa and England. And the centrepiece of their fundraising each year is a match between Brighton fans and Crystal Palace fans. I've played for the Palace team, obviously, since 2003. Scored some goals, missed some goals, but always enjoyed the friendly rivalry with the Brighton players and helping out a fantastic cause. Each year there's celebrity players for Palace. In the past we've had Peter Taylor, Simon Roger. This year it's two of my favourite ever Palace players. Andy Johnson and Sean Derry, and I'm super excited to play alongside both of them. Anyway, I've had my lunch, I've walked through the lanes, I'm now ready to head to the Amex and do this. We're out on the pitch, we're doing our sort of warm-up, or pre-warm-up. Pitch isn't that big, not much bigger than most Sunday League games I've played on to be honest, but uh, it's looking it's looking quite good actually, it's looking in good condition, uh, which means I'll have absolutely no excuse when the uh, left winger flies past me uh, in the first minute. I'm playing right back, it's going to be very, very difficult, but you know what, I'm absolutely buzzing to be here. It's fantastic, absolutely loving every minute of it. Andy Johnson? Uh, when you score your hat-trick today, are you going to do the burger munching <laughs> celebration? I've got a couple of celebrations, but I'm just hoping to get off the mark first. It's been a long time, it's been a couple of years now since I kicked a ball, but delighted to be here. Really good for a great cause, uh, great occasion, great lads. Sean Derry, how are you feeling to be back in the Palace kit? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot tighter than it was. <laughs> Try and enjoy it. You know, this is a, a remarkable stadium. And it's also the, um, you know, the rival is there at whatever level. What was that all about? <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all about. Uh, it was one of the physios that was helping me out at the time. He loved his food. I said if I scored a goal, <laughs> I said I said if I scored a goal, I'd give him a little like mention on the pitch, and it just continued from Continue. then. Continue. You kept scoring. Well, he was treating me after the game. He was keeping us on the pitch week in week out, and you know, uh, you know, I'm a one to <laughs> keep going. Stick it to was good. It's working. Stuck. We yeah. loved it. Well, if you scored today, I'm so, definitely yeah. doing. I want to see that one. I want to see it. Yeah. Um, do you remember during your first time at Palace when you your first spell, you had you tried to grow up mullet? Remember that you had a bit of a short and then a bit of a. I think I've still mullet. got a part of the mullet just at the front there. That's about it. Me and my mates tried to do the same thing. We tried to replicate the mullets. No, no. It there, was, there was only one person who could um, carry the mullet off, and that sadly wasn't me. <laughs> so, after a quick team talk from the gaffer, and that, it was time to get out there, get our heads in the game, and bloody do this. And it turned out bloody doing this for me meant getting absolutely torn apart by the 18 year old lad they'd put on left wing. Although what I've done here is piece together the rest of these clips uh, to make it look like actually I didn't have that terrible a game. It's quite a nice first touch there. Oh, shame about the cross. Just come off after half an hour. I told them if they put a tricky left winger against me, I'm going to struggle. And they put a tricky left winger against me. And I struggled. It's very quick. I got in one foul though, which I'm very proud of. Uh, and a couple of crosses, but it's very difficult. Pitch is massive. Still 0 0. We're doing okay. We're holding them. AJ's looking threatening. I'm absolutely not. Shortly after I came off, that pacer winger made it 1 0 to Brighton. And that quickly became 2-0. We went in at the break, two goals down. But Sean Derry gave us a rousing half-time team talk and it did the trick. Jake Newton made it 2-1. Before Ryan Scott won a penalty, meaning you know who stepped up to make it 2-2. And AJ converted to equalise. And in the very last second, Derry fed AJ and he did this. 
rounded the keeper and Palace had a famous victory at the Amex once more. Well, we literally could not have won that better. Andy Johnson in the last minute at the Amex Stadium to win it for Palace after being 2-0 down to win 3-2. It doesn't get any better than that. I lasted about half an hour. Uh, I, the pacey left midfielder was <laughs> not what I wanted to play against, but it was a brilliant experience to play. We celebrated in front of the Palace fans. It, could, it was fantastic. I think it might be my last rev, to be honest, after was it 13 years but what a way to go out we were 2-0 down at half time Sean Derry former Palace player gave us a rousing speech absolutely from the heart they were filming it for Palace TV in the change room he said turn off the camera and then gave us an absolutely fantastic rousing speech and it did the trick because we came back from 2-0 down to win 3-2 absolutely fantastic it's been brilliant to support the cause here to play in the Palace shirt at the Amex and win it doesn't get any better than that as a crystal palace fan so that's it from me thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that if you did click subscribe for more videos drop a like thanks very much for watching see you again soon cheers